Protesters took to the streets for the third night Monday demanding justice for George Floyd. WFMY News News Candace Red is live in downtown Greensboro with a look at how those protests ended. Good morning. Well, I first want to give you a look at downtown Greensboro so you can get a feel of exactly what's going on. But as you can see, some of these businesses are already boarded up, preparing for just a possible another day of protest. As you can see, some of the messages here read uh, Black Lives Matter. Stand up. We love you. And then this one right here, peace with a huge heart over it. Obviously, a lot of protesters coming out and spray painting on the boarded up businesses. But we do know that last night's George Floyd protest ended about one hour after the citywide curfew in downtown Greensboro. Police showed up in riot gear to enforce the 8 p.m. curfew. Take a listen. Well, last night marked day three of George Floyd protest in downtown Greensboro. Protesters gathered in the afternoon at the International Civil Rights Center and Museum on Elm Street in February 1 place, where they marched to the Greensboro Police Department shouting, Black Lives Matter and no justice, no peace. Well, hours later, the group headed back to the museum for more demonstrations against police brutality. Well, despite the citywide curfew going into effect at 8 p.m., some protesters stayed put, locked arms, and chanted, hands up, don't shoot. Well, police warned protesters several times to leave the area and go home. Well, after the police moved in, the crowd dispersed around the 9 o'clock hour. Now, police detained at least three people during the protest for breaking curfew. And we do know that police say that last night's prote protest ended peacefully and it was not violent. But as always, you can head over to our website as WFMYNews2.com for more details on this story.